I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I would have preferred to rewatch Hereditary than to have seen this movie at all. See, Midsummer is a movie where this couple, Christian and Danny, are having issues and they go on a trip to Sweden to take their minds off things, but the community they end up staying with turns out to be some sort of cult. And that's it. That's the extent of what this movie is about. It has an incredibly simple premise, and yet the film itself is awfully long-winded. It takes a while for anything to happen in this narrative. With such a simple premise, at a two and a half hour runtime, Midsummer simply just drags. The story can be engaging when it hones in on that toxic relationship between Christian and Danny, but there are so many meandering scenes and sequences where nothing is actually pushing the plot forward. And that carefree attitude, which I assume was purposefully done, really makes the rest of the movie lack focus. For example, the film opens up with a pretty interesting and compelling scene that helps us understand and empathize with Danny's character. Yet it has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. It's never brought up again, and it doesn't pay off. Just because Ari Aster utilizes imagery in a memorable way to convey the messages in his stories, you know, the way a talented filmmaker should, as opposed to depending on awful expositional dialogue, does not make him a masterful director. He's an auteur, to be sure, but the themes in this film could have still come across the same, if not better, if the writing and editing and pacing were just tighter and more to the point. Yes, I get that Midsummer is a film about homogeny and nationalism and grief and loss and the toxicity of codependency, and that these are important messages for anyone to hear and learn from, but the movie is also just really boring. Using gory shock value to break up the monotony is not enough to get me engaged in the narrative. It just felt like Aster wanted to outdo the most memorable moment in Hereditary by using shockingly blunt violence. But it didn't work on me. The shocking moments in Hereditary pushed the story and the themes forward. The violence in Midsummer doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Take out the blood and horror from this movie, and the unsettling narrative is pretty much the same. It also doesn't help that the characters were quite stupid. It's clear from the start that they are all being used and manipulated and purposefully drugged and forced to do things against their will. Is this movie also about rape? But they never notice any of the obvious. And when a character does notice something strange and off-putting, then they just brush it off as a cultural misunderstanding. Fuck that. People are stupid and cultural appropriation is a real problem, but everything was just presented in an unbelievable fashion. I also didn't care for Will Poulter as the annoying and oblivious comedic relief. His character really didn't match the tone of the rest of this overly serious narrative. It's as if he merely existed as a means to entertain mainstream audiences, or maybe he's a criticism on mainstream audiences. Or maybe I'm reading too deeply into this one aspect of the movie because I'm looking for things that aren't there. Or maybe nothing is there. Florence Pugh actually delivers a solid performance as Danny. She plays a very relatable character, which is sad considering the whole point of Danny's arc. I haven't seen Fighting with My Family, so I'm not familiar with Pugh's previous work, but I liked her performance here, so I look forward to seeing her in Black Widow. And Jack Rayner, well, he's fine as Christian, I guess, but whatever. Is Christian a douche? Is he a victim? Can people be both? I don't know but Rainer didn't do much to make his character memorable, which I don't necessarily think was his own fault. I guess I also liked the cinematography, since the movie was quite nice to look at, but I will admit that everything did look a bit too bright and overexposed for my own liking. Look, everyone will have their own take on a movie like Midsummer. There are plenty of things to take in and further examine, but I guess the moral of the story that I personally walked away with after having seen the film is tell your significant other when you start falling out of love with them. Don't drag them along, and especially don't take them to a cult. That's no good for anyone. Now, I normally wouldn't rate a movie this low, but since I did admit to liking Hereditary more, and I gave that movie a pretty low score, I'm just gonna have to do it. There aren't a lot of redeeming qualities in this movie for my own personal taste anyway, so I'm not afraid to give Midsummer 1 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching.